This is a 2010 Range Rover Sport. It's got the 5 litre V8 petrol engine and it's a luxury. We are the Old Timer Centre. We specialise in European cars and my name's Philip Tarrant. I'm going to talk to you about this beautiful Range Rover Sport. The 5 litre V8 petrol has 276 kilowatts of power and it was regarded as one of the most reliable Range Rover Sport petrol engines. It's a luxury, it's got the very nice perforated seats, soft leather, along with all the other standard features including a reverse camera, navigation and Bluetooth. The 5 litre V8 sprints from 0 to 100 kilometres per hour in about 7 seconds and they're actually very rare, most of them are diesels and the diesel is, is a good engine, you know, you can save on, on fuel but petrol engines have come a long way and as a result the fuel consumption on this car is absolutely fine when you compare it to a Range Rover from 10 years ago with a petrol engine. It's got the rear blind down there as well which is fantastic. It's got a sunroof, it's got the standard wheels and that's actually very important. A lot of people put 19, 20, 21, 22 inch wheels on it which uh, for some people look great but it puts a whole lot of unnecessary stress on the suspension and in fact if you bought a brand new one and put big wheels on it you'd probably void your warranty. And they wouldn't do that unless there was a considerable risk in doing so. So this has the standard wheels. And obviously if you want to put on some bigger wheels, it's absolutely fine. But I think that's something very important to look for when you're buying a range, any Range Rover or Land Rover. I believe this colour is called Stornoway Grey. It's got black soft leather interior. It's had one family owner since new. I don't think it's done any towing. You can see in there it's nice and clean. I don't think it's even done any off-road. And that's another thing you should probably ask when you're buying a Range Rover Sport because they are very, very capable off-road. It's only done 83,000 kilometres since it was brand new. It's been serviced at Land Rover and a Range Rover specialist its whole life. And is serviced up to date. It's got some tinted windows and it really is a beautiful car. The next service isn't due until around 88,000 kilometres, so it's not due now. And if I was buying a Range Rover Sport, I would buy the 5 litre V8 because the reliability, and I'm sorry, but for me when I buy a Range Rover, I think, well when I think Range Rover, I think V8, petrol, great sound, performance. I don't think diesel, slow, <laughs> rumbly. That's just my opinion. The other thing with the, uh, the diesels, and I have driven one in fact in the exact same colour as this one, is um, you know, when they rev up they, they start going okay, but if you've got to pull out, if you live on a property and you've got to pull out onto a freeway, or if you've got to make a dash out in front of traffic or overtake someone, the V8 is the car to buy. I'll start it up. If I have the keys, that would probably help. <laughs> But it's a 2010 model, it's got low kilometres, and the V8 is regarded, especially in the 5 litres, a very reliable car. In fact, the 4.2 and the 4.4 litre V8 were also very reliable. The back seat folds down as well. Probably the, the cars which were a bit troublesome was the 4.4 litre BMW engine. You can see 
you know, it's it's really quite clean. It hasn't and, and there's a lot of people who use them on the beach. They've got a boat which they tow, they reverse the car into the water and you get rust in the tailgate. So there's a lot of things to look for when you're buying a Range Rover Sport. And this, this is one of those cars which does tick all the boxes. Obviously it's got Xenon lights. And the resale is very good on the 5 litre V8. If you want to have a look at, say, a Land Rover Discovery or a Discovery 4, and just look up 5 litre V8, there'll be very few of them, and they'll be asking big money, especially when you compare it to a diesel. And that's because, despite what people say about diesels being the best and everything else, reality is, is the, the V8, especially once you get this age, I think is much more desirable. If you want a diesel, there's probably 30 on the internet, or 40 or 50. But if you want a 5 litre V8 petrol with under 100,000 kilometres, do you know what, this might actually be the only one. I'm not sure. Maybe there's two or three. But I think they're very special. And uh, this is a car which will not last long. If you have any more questions about the car, or any specific questions you can ask myself, my name's Philip. Um, I do know quite a bit about these Range Rovers. And uh, I didn't sort of talk about it because I assume that it's a, it's a bit of a given if you're looking at a Range Rover. It does have air pneumatic suspension, which goes up and down by about a foot if you do want to use it off-road. Or you can put it into what they used to call in the 90s as the kneeling position where it sits right down low for easy access inside and out. It's also got the terrain response system. Just here, so you've got snow, mud ruts, etc. They were the first four drive to have it, and then pretty much everyone copied, including Lexus, Ford, Land Cruiser. The list goes on. But we think it's a very special car. It's great that it's a 5-litre V8. It's good that it's had one family owner since new. It's also very good that it's done under 100,000 kilometres with a very good service history. So we think we've priced this car to sell. And I think it's a car which you really must have a look at and take it for a drive. If you're about to buy a diesel or if you've been looking at diesels, come and have a look at this first. Take it for a drive. Ask your mechanic what they think. Thanks again for watching the video. And uh, if you do want to contact us, we're on 029569 You can ask myself, Philip. We do have in-house finance, and we're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport, as you can probably hear from the plane flying overhead. Thanks again for watching.